Hello, my name is Liu Ruofen. In this video, I'm going to present our work, Fishpedia, a hybrid deep learning based approach to visual identify phishing web pages. Phishing attack is a type of cybercrime which steals users' credential information by disguising itself as legitimate entity. Phishing attack has grown in prevalence since last year, especially due to the global pandemic. In this work, our focus is to accurately identify phishing websites. Here, we want to clarify the difference between phishing detection and phishing identification. While phishing detection only needs to classify whether a URL is phishing page or not, phishing identification further needs to show what is the phishing target. In phishing detection model, the classification decision is usually associated with the confidence score. However, it's hard to explain why the confidence score is low or high. In contrast, for phishing identification tasks, we will try to explain why the model believe is targeted for this brand. Thus, phishing identification provides more causality analysis for model decision, which we think is more meaningful to investigate. Typical framework for phishing identification is as follows. Since we need to find a targeted brand for a phishing website, we need to keep a reference repo to store targeted brand's web page signature. Secondly, when a URL is coming, there should be a content abstraction module to extract the representation of the web page. Afterward, there will be a target matching module to match the web page representation to reference repo. There are two key research questions here. First one, how can we abstract web page content to better represent the web page? Second, how can we match the abstraction? In the MD, their basic idea is, since the phishing site usually fake legitimate sites, the color distribution of phishing screenshots should be similar to that of targeted brand. The content abstraction module will pr process web page screenshot into a vector describing the color distribution of screenshot. The target matching module then compare the test vector to all the vectors in the reference repo. We argue that EMD has two problems. Firstly, since EMD heavily rely on the color distribution of screenshots, it is not robust to small perturbation in the color design or the layout design of the website. On the other hand, EMD introduced false positive when two screenshots are having similar color distribution. Based on the fact that comparing screenshots may introduce a lot of noises, a more recent work called Fish Zoo argued that we don't need to match two screenshots. We only need to match logo since logo carries the identity of a website better. In the reference repo, Fish Zoo keeps a list of targeted brand logo. When a URL is coming, they use SIFT to match logo to a screenshot. SIFT is an old-fashioned computer vision model which matches two pictures by matching key points. However, we observe that SIFT introduces many mismatching and incorrect matching. Sometimes the key points in logo are matched to irrelevant part in screenshot. Moreover, SIFT has high runtime overhead with 18 seconds per URL on average. To resolve the problem in SOTA work, we introduced Fishpedia. Followed from Fish Zoo, we agree that logo carries the identity of a website better. Different from Fish Zoo, we use deep learning object detection model to first report the position of the logo precisely. Then we directly compare logos via deep learning Siemens model. In addition, our system can provide explainable prediction. We are able to visualize and debug which brand it is targeting for, and where it is trying to steal credential information. We summarize the contributions of Fishpedia here. First, we provide perfect local identification with customized object detection approach. Secondly, it incurs low runtime overhead, even with visual analysis. Thirdly, it has low bias in phishing data set because there's no need to train on any pre-collected phishing data sources. Lastly, we provide visual annotation of phishing screenshots, which improve user confidence in model prediction. There are a few challenges in developing Fishpedia. The first challenge is that, how do you identify perfect logo? Second is, how do we train the model to learn similar logos? We rephrase the logo identification problem as an object detection problem. At first, we tried the off-the-shelf one-stage object detection model Eurov3, but we find oftentimes models generate partial logo. 
So we switch to use two-stage object detection model, which is slower, but more precise in bounding box prediction. It has two stages. Stage one is to roughly detect the region containing objects. In our case, we're interested in detecting logo as well as input boxes. Stage two is to refine the reported region and classify the region into logo or input boxes. In our work, we borrowed the faster RCM model published in 2015. As I mentioned, the second challenge is to train a model to learn similar logo. We find that the traditional way of training SAMIS does not work because what SAMIS traditional doing is that it will force the logo representations from the same brand to be very close and different brands to be far away. But for the logo variant that belongs to the same brand, they may have very different appearance even from human point of view. It's not necessary to constrain them to be within a strict distance threshold that could result in heavy overfitting. So instead, we train a classification model for logos and the classes here are different brands. Then we will use the model in a semi style when we compare two logos. We use the last representation layer before the softmax activation and take the cosine similarity. We implement Resident V2 as our classification model. To boost the model performance on local data set, we apply two-stage training. First, we pre-train the classification model on a large-scale local data set called Logo2K+, published in AAAI. Then we fine-tune the model on our local target list data set. To summarize our approach, first, we use faster RCM object detection model to recognize logo. Then we compare logo via ResNet v 2 based SIMIS model. In our experiment section, we want to answer the following research questions. First one is, what a fish PDA can identify the fish URL effectively? Second research question, how good is the individual component of fish PDA? RQ3 is, whether a fish PDA can catch more fish in the wild? Before diving into the details, let me briefly explain about our experiment setup. We collected 30K fishing from open fish and 30K benign from Alexa. For each web page, we record their metadata, screenshot, as well as HTML code. In addition, we keep a reference local database, which covers the top 181 brands that are mostly attacked from what OpenFish has reported. This bunch of logos are also used in SIMIS training. In order to train object detection model, we prepare 30K labeled legitimate websites, where we annotate the positions of logo and input boxes. Note that for both object detection model and SAMIS model, we didn't use any fishing data to train because the local recognition and local comparison tasks are independent of the nature of the website. This data agnostic training fashion prevents potential model bias on the specific fishing data source we use. Now let us look at the first research question, which is the overall fishpedia performance. We can see that from the table, Fishpedia have higher precision, higher recall, and higher identification accuracy. Well, it does not incur additional runtime overhead. Second research question is the evaluation of individual component performance. For object detector, the test mean average precision can reach 59.7%. For SIMIS, the SIMIS matching accuracy on 1,000 logos cropped from phishing website can reach 93.5%. A very important but largely undiscussed research question in previous state of the art work is whether the model can catch more fishing in the wild because it's easy to train a model which has superior performance on experiment set, but we need to test the model in real life scenario to prove the ability of catching new fishing. We deploy Fishpedia on emerging domains fed from search stream for one month. Fishpedia can report 1,820 as fishing, out of which 1,704 are real fishing and 1,133 are zero-day fishing, which are not reported by any other engines. Other baseline tools report too many false positives, so cannot be used in industry. Here we show some examples of found fishing. These three examples are from Instagram fishing, Facebook Facebook Fishing, and Bank of America Fishing. To conclude, Fishpedia is a, fish, Fishpedia is a fishing identification technique helping explain fishing causality. Technically, Fishpedia makes the following contribution. The first one is perfect identity logo identification. 
Second one is accurate logo matching model. Third one, it incurs low runtime overhead. And lastly, it has low bias in efficient data set. Thanks for watching. That's the end of our presentation.